In this video, we are going to cover the letter Y. The reason that we're covering this phoneme as a letter instead of a sound is because the letter Y is really just the phoneme E. When I was in school, I was told that the letter Y is sometimes a consonant and sometimes a vowel, which never really made sense to me. How do I know when it's one or the other? It's honestly because it doesn't really change. It's always the phoneme E. The main difference is how you start the phoneme. Sometimes we start with a glide, a y, and sometimes we start it with a glottal stop. E, 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 E. The only thing that makes the Y pronunciation slightly different than purely an E phoneme is if the Y starts a word. At the beginning of a word, you start with a slight glide, like the word you, you, you. It's still an E phoneme, but contrast that with the word eat, eat. I'm starting with a glottal stop, eat, eat. A glottal stop is when you bring your vocal cords together and forcibly stop the air. It creates the sound it, it, eat, you eat, you. That's really the main difference. Besides that, if the letter Y is in the middle or the end of a word, it's just an E phoneme. The practice phrase for this sound will help you switch back and forth between the glide onset E and the glottal stop onset E. Speak this phrase. The yellow easy yarn was east of the young ear. The yellow easy yarn was east of the young ear. Now that we've established the center of the phoneme target, let's talk about the secondary ring. The secondary ring of this phoneme doesn't have a lot of variances as almost all English speakers will speak with a glided y when the word starts with a y. The outer ring of mispronunciation will oftentimes sound like a j instead of a y. That's it for this video. Please leave your questions in the comments below and I will see you in the next.